All right, guys, so on today's vlog, I did something that you guys have been requesting quite a bit. This is actually uh, a cut that I've never put on video, so pretty excited about it. This is the V-shaped long haircut. So a lot of you guys have been wondering how to create that V in the back, and I've got a lot of tips for you guys. So here is our end result on the mannequin. So you can see the longer in the back, a little bit shorter in the front. Nice long layer, so I think you guys are gonna dig this cut, thanks for the requests out there and all the comments, all the shares, all of that. Thank you guys so much. Let's get started with our step-by-step. -step. Here we go. All right, guys, so we're gonna start off the haircut by taking a horseshoe-shaped section, a long parietal ridge, down uh, through mid-crown, and then back down parietal ridge, meeting at the recession points of the head right there. So uh, very simple sectioning. That's the one thing I love about this technique is that we have basically two sections, the top and the bottom. So we're going to start by taking our diagonal back partings and then over directing it straight to the front of the face, uh, straight out, which you can see in the bottom uh, left hand corner diagram that we're bringing it just straight out. Finger angle is parallel with the face. So if you wanted to create different angles, you can definitely play around with that. But I like to keep it pretty, pretty standard, especially with medium density hair. Uh, just keeping the, that finger angle parallel with the face works really well. So just working our way down the head shape. I think the one thing that you want to keep in mind is that a lot of people want to create the V shape of the layering and they want to do that either first or they don't pay attention to the structure of the haircut to aid in the V shape of the haircut. So right now we're creating a shorter front longer back. What that's going to do is put that point into the back, but it's not going to create a perfect V shape. What's going to create that is at the very end when we go in and do that detail work, which I'm going to show you guys. So just make sure my thought process is let's work on the interior of the haircut first. Let's work on the layering. What we're doing now, we're removing weight from the interior, creating our layers, and then the, that makes the perimeter uh, detail work very simple because we're not working with so much weight. So my elevation is nice and high, medium level, let's say, uh, fingers parallel to the face, and just working those sections back. Uh, stationary guide, like I said before, so each diagonal back section, we're working more vertical at this point, but just working my way down the head, over directing everything over until I run out of hair. Once I run out of hair, there's nothing left to cut and my line is created at that point. So this is the last little bit. You can see that I've shifted how I'm holding the scissor in my hand. I've talked about this on past videos, but it's really just as a comfort thing so I don't have to twist my wrist too much. Now we're gonna work on the top. This is a key part because I think what we want to do is we want to remove a little bit of weight from the top so that it's not sitting on our outer perimeter line so we can create a better line easier. Plus, I wanted to create some layering throughout the haircut. So my goal is to push as much weight as possible to the back of the head. So I'm over directing everything towards me over top of the forehead and cutting a horizontal line parallel to the forehead in the front. So that'll give me my shortest point in the front and pushing the density heavier into the back uh, back point of the haircut. So real simple, just about three sections, uh, over directing them to the same spot. So completely working with stationary guides. My guideline came from just the corner recession point from the previously cut section, just in case you guys are wondering, you can see that V shape. You can see it with the wave, how it kind of stacks up in the, in the middle and gets longer to the very bottom point uh, in the center back. Now we're just blow dry, quick flat wrap, quick iron work, and then I'm going to go through and do some dry detail work in the haircut. This is a great haircut for just getting a guest in and out of the salon, but with a lot of detail. So we do the wet cut. Now I'm going to go through detail and do some point cutting. What we've talked about before in past videos as well is that point cutting is the best way to just remove some bulk from the edges. It doesn't mean we want to change the haircut. So I am taking a vertical section, but you can see my over direction and uh, my elevation is the same as I cut it when it was wet. So I might be taking a vertical section now, but it, there's really no difference. Um, vertical is working with the density of the hair and a lot less with the shape. So I'm going in here, just removing some of that density, lightening up the uh, around the face and, and the layers. So the one thing that I want you to notice in my point cutting is that my steady blade is what is going towards my fingers. So the, the blade that's in motion is staying away from my finger. That allows me to not cut myself 
when point cutting. So best trick for that is to just take your scissor, point it away from you, and then point it back at you. And that's how you should hold your scissor to do this type of point cutting. We're doing a pretty deep point cut, but keeping the scissor very vertical so that we're not removing too much bulk. I'm not trying to change anything, just softening uh, the layering in the haircut. So you can see that V-shape come into life. Now this is a little crazy. This is not something I would do in the salon, but I wanted to show you guys a visual of how I connect those two points. Obviously, my guest would have shoulders and shoulder blades. So what I would do is just comb it down the back of her back and create this V shape. But you, what I want you to notice is the density around the edges of the hair. It's nice and light. The reason it's nice and light is because we went in and did the interior work first. So that allowed us to be able to just go in and create this soft V shape line in the haircut. So the layers are already doing the V shape and now I can just go through the perimeter and make sure that that connects. The reason it doesn't completely connect um, right away is because when you're over directing everything to the front of the head, what that's gonna do is um, it's gonna be great until you get to behind the ear and then your over direction is going past too many corners so it pushes a lot of extra weight in the very back of the haircut. So just going through using the tip of that scissor to go through detail the outer perimeter and then you have uh, a successful v-shaped long layered haircut um, and that's it you can see all the layers a lot of movement i really dig this haircut um, it's one that i've definitely done in the salon quite a bit when people want that v-shape in there a little bit of bricado hairspray to finish it off and that is the end result hope you guys like this video if you do please share it with your friends hit the like button and make sure you subscribe to our channel we got new videos every day right here on freesaloneducation.com if you like that haircut and you want to see more make sure you hit the like button hit the share button share it with all of your friends i love uh, seeing all of your comments and seeing what you thought about the video so make sure you post those below thank you guys so much for watching we'll see you guys on the next video thanks